Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Bitching Tuesdays. This is a new segment I'm going to be introducing on my YouTube channel. Basically, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on in my life and maybe school or the channel, whatever I choose to talk about, I guess. Um, maybe I'll answer questions when you guys start asking questions. Um, but at this point, I'm just going to be talking to you and letting you know what's going on um, while I'm doing my makeup, basically. So, anyways, let's get to it. Fix that real quick. Um, so, I was actually thinking about doing a um, blue and golden smoky eye to see if that will show up, but we'll see. So, I was going to use this, this one right here and one of these two right here or right here um we'll decide i guess i'll decide when i get there um so i'm actually going to use my concealer here um it's called match perfection by ramel london in the shade fair 125 um i don't have a big mirror yet so i have to use this little guy here oh look there you are um to basically do my makeup in until i can afford to buy a normal sized mirror right let me scoot a little closer for you Um, so basically, I am using this as an eyelid primer because the one I have right now is not a very good one. So this is what I'm going to use. I've seen people use it before, like their concealers, like normal, as a primer. And they say that it works pretty nicely for them, especially since it's concealing their eyes um i think there's a really big difference for me because i have very veiny eyelids so to me i don't want my veins showing through if that makes sense um so basically i'm gonna do one eye at a time well no that'd be a bit weird wouldn't it um so bear with me, this is a new segment, so it's not the greatest quality of video yet, or like I don't script my videos, I don't see that it's very real as far as like who you're seeing if I script it, because then you don't see me mess up, right? Um, anyways, I know that looks pretty messy, right? like girl you don't know how to do your makeup look at the mess on your face um but actually it doesn't have to be pretty when you are just first applying it you can totally blend everything out just like i did let me get it um i don't usually use a brush with my concealer but right now because it's on my eye and i want it to be somewhat nice um, so that's that. Um, let's move on to applying some color. I'm actually going to use this really small brush right here. Um, it says, well, I actually used to have a brand that would say their name on the brush, like what it was used for, but this one doesn't. So this is basically just a flat brush that is tapered on both edges. So, um, I'm going to clean up the edges with a beauty wipe afterwards, but um, that's what I'm going to do when I'm done, basically. Uh, hang on. Okay. Sorry. Um, my screen, my laptop screen, which is below what I'm recording on right now, froze, and I thought my phone stopped recording. Sorry about that. Um, so my palette has a giant mirror on it. So this is what I'm actually gonna use to 
see my face in because it's a bigger, better mirror. Um, anyways, so basically I'm going to start at an angle like that, like as if I was doing my eyeliner and then I'm gonna pack it in the corner and out like this. Maybe you can see it. Um, and basically just pack it in and down. They can see, or I can see it um, packed in. And then I'm gonna take this blending brush right here. This one is one of the ones that says what it is. Can you see that maybe? No. Um, it says taper of blending brush, basically. Um, that's all it is. So basically I'm going to blend in the crease and around so that I can build up this. I thought I cleaned this brush off. I guess I didn't. My bad guys. Hang on a minute. Um, not very professional of me. My apologies. Um, okay, it looks clean now. So basically, you just blend it out and do that and then build up again what you need. Got some on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna blend that out. Not too much though, because I already did the majority of my blending. Blend it into my crease. Um, if you guys wanna know what I was talking about, I accidentally had brown eyeshadow on this brush, but it actually worked out pretty perfectly because it automatically blended it into my crease. So no worries. Um, I'm gonna have difficulties doing my left eye because I've told you in a previous video that I have a hard time doing the left side of my face. So this might take a bit of fumbling to get the mirror and the recording and everything right. Um, but I am going to get up and close and personal. Basically do the wing messy little wing into the crease. Don't mind my messiness with my left hand because anyways, what you do down here. I know it looks messy, don't worry, I will be blending out in a second. So now I get that same blendy brush, blend that in, working hard. So back in with this little tiny brush. You know, if all my brushes had names, I would love it, but they don't. Like, they're like tapered brush, or flat brush. What do you guys think so far? You nice? I like it. Um, I'm gonna get another palette, because I know that that brown is from this palette actually, right there. And I'm going to actually get a different brush that I hadn't pulled out previously, um, right here. It's like, hang on. It's this little 
little brush. It's like a flathead and it's angled. And I'm going to apply that into my crease so that it's more prominent. And then I'm going to blend it out so that I have a nice crease color. so harsh um, but this is supposed to be basically me talking to you about what's going on in my life and here obviously you're new to my channel because I'm new to my channel I just need it um, but in reality um, I am also a high school student my high school name fluff it out again um but I'm just really excited I feel like that's an experience that most people should have um even if they are new to playing or whatever they should definitely um play something I think um I'm sorry if this is messy and you don't like it. I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out and clearly I'm doing an awful job at it. But if you would be so kind to hang in there with me, um, it'll all be worth it someday, I hope. I look like I gave myself a black eye, don't you think? That's what I think. Um, so hang on just one minute. Found it. I'm getting makeup wipes to clean up my corner, make it look not so black eye-ish. What do you think? I think that looks better already. Look at that. What do you think? All right, so um, I've decided that I'm gonna do a golden color for my inner corner. And I'm gonna use this pencil brush right here um, because 
I used my other small brush. So this is gonna hopefully pay off in my brush. But um, I don't know if you guys ever realized this from when I told you before, I think. I don't actually wear a lot of makeup, but it's one of my biggest passions. Um, I want to be a makeup artist someday. I want to graduate high school. I want to do lots of stuff actually in my life. Um, I want to own a business. Someday hopefully I'll have my own company and you guys can buy my makeup. What do you think? I hope this isn't too cringy. Um, I know that having a new channel isn't an excuse for a bad video, but I don't like scripting, and I know I've already said this before. It just makes me feel like I'm not real. Not to say that other people who clearly script their videos are not real. It's just... I'd rather not. You know what I mean? Like, it's not my forte. Forte. Does anybody, if you guys know what that means, leave a, a comment down, please, below, letting me know you're out there because I feel a little bit on the alone side because none of you guys are here talking to me. It makes me kind of sad because it's like, where's my, my group? I mean, See where you're at here, you know? Like, I wanna know where you're all at. Sorry, I'm a little obnoxious. Don't mind me. Um, I don't know, what else do you guys think I should talk about when I'm doing these videos? You think, you nice? I like it. I think. I did a great job. Anything. If you guys would like um, voiceovers instead of bitching, um, like in person, just let me know because I can try that. See how I like it. Um, you guys should let me know what you are into. Like, what is your favorite pastime? Personally, my favorite pastime is watching YouTube. I could watch YouTube all day long. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm bored and when I'm not bored and so supposed to be doing other stuff. Um, I love that. It's, I think it's one of the most greatest, like, inventions this world has seen for poor kids or teenagers as I am. Um, right now I'm gonna do eyeliner real quick. Hey guys, so I'm back and I wanted to show you what my finished eyeliner look like looks like. Um, I actually really like this look. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I am using this mascara. It is called, it's by Essence. It's called Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. Um, I just got this. This is like the third time I've used it. And I actually really, really like it. Um, it's a pretty decent mascara. Um, I make a weird face when I do mascara, so pardon that. Um, but other than that, and my weird faces, um, I actually think this is one of the best $5.99 mascaras I have ever used. Honestly, I really do. Um, I've used other ones that aren't as decent, um, but so far I have no problems with it. All right, so... We're gonna move on now to my face, which is probably gonna be way better for me to talk through than my eyeshadow because I've never had to talk through, like doing my eyeshadow as in a video talk through, but 
I had to do a video based on uh, Ulta haul, which a lot of these products are in. And if you want to see, you should definitely go watch my video that I uploaded last Friday and watch it and give it a like, a, you know, a thumbs up and stick around because you'll be seeing more videos like that. Um, so basically right now I am blending out my concealer and that also, by the way, was the Match Perfect concealer uh, in the shade 125 Fair. Um, I really like this concealer. It wears pretty nicely. I don't like the application. Um, I do go a bit in more depth with that, I believe, in my other video. Um, geez. I put a little bit too much. I don't know how you do that. Let me just, you know, spread some of the love. I didn't mean to take that much concealer out of the tube, but I guess that's how it works. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, something happened to my computer, so I had to stop recording for a second, but um, I'm back now. And basically I am just blending out my concealer on my chin and my nose and my eyes basically um, to, you know, get rid of some of the redness, the discoloration. Um, now I'm going to do my foundation and that's about it, I think, for liquids on my face. Um, I'm sorry if this video isn't as good a quality as you would like it to be. I'm not feeling very good today. Um, I'm actually kind of sick, but I didn't want to disappoint and I wanted to at least upload on time this week and on by on time I mean at least on the days that I said I would record and upload um, I like this foundation it's very light coverage so if you don't like a light coverage don't use it um, it is buildable though but not by very much um, it doesn't cover up a whole lot I have a pimple there, it's irritating. Um, so if you want a full coverage foundation, don't get this one. If you want something just to throw on so you don't have to, I guess, I don't know, show the set imperfections on your face that everyone likes to tell you you have, um, then use this one. If you don't care, then don't use it, I don't know. Um, Anyways, so that's my foundation. It doesn't look the greatest on camera, but I really honestly like this. It looks pretty decent in real life. Um, I think it looks nice. Um, the powder with it is disgusting. In my opinion, it doesn't do anything that it should do, in my opinion, um, by a landslide. It doesn't come off. It doesn't show up in the on my face. I have to. I look like I'm caking my face like there's no tomorrow when I apply this powder because people are like, "Why are you applying so much powder?" And it's like because it doesn't come off. Um. Anyways, back to orchestra. I'm really honestly excited to be getting this jacket because I want to show that I can play pretty good music and that my now seven years and what it has counted accounted for. Um, I also like the look of Letterman jackets or varsity jackets, whatever you want to call them. Personally, um, I could care less. I just really want those jackets. Um, I'm kind of scared though how much it's going to cost because it's like a customized, like bought from a store online, kind of customized, and I really hope it doesn't cost 
above fifty dollars because that's aggressive and ain't nobody that no one needs aggressiveness. Um so that's that for powder. Um I look a little incomplete because I don't have brows on. So before I do anything else on my face, um I'm gonna do my brows, set aside my beauty blender that is real techniques. Um I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick because they are this. And your girl, she needs some eyebrows. Um, up on her face. So that's, um, anyways. But I actually wanted to tell you about my idea for the Letterman jacket. Um, my teacher just decided to do it today. And I, I don't think she has a color palette yet. And our orchestra is made up of two schools. Um, which shall re remain unnamed for my identity's sake. But um, one school is black and red and the other school is um, blue and red. And so what I thought would be really cool is that the main part of the jacket that goes like around your chest and waist and everything was red to show the unity of the two schools because that's what makes up the one orchestra is both schools and then one sleeve was blue to represent the school that I go to and then the other school would like the other side would be um hang on I'm missing something uh would be black and I thought that that would be really cool to incorporate both schools but also show that they can come together, right? Like, I don't know. Um, so my eyebrows are done. Now I'm gonna do my bronzing, well, my contouring, but with a bronzing powder. Um, I know that you're not supposed to do that, but I don't care. Um, I just realized that my contour powder has a really strange scent to it. I don't know why. Um, if any of you guys know why Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder smells strange, um, let me know. Maybe there's a specific tint to it, or tint, tint, um, a specific smell to like another product that it's supposed to match, um, and I just don't know it. But this is in the shade light, or um, lighter skin so yeah um i like this one uh i used another bronzing powder by them that was just way way not gonna happen it just was too dark and not the right shade it was just all over the place so i'm gonna use this la girl strobe light in the color 80 watt um for my highlight Basically, um, I have this other one that I like, but it's really gold. And if you don't like a super gold highlight, then you're not gonna like this one. Or not this one, but this one by Milani. This one has a great color for it, but it's really gold. Maybe you can tell. Um, I like it, but not for every day. This one, um, is a highlight for sure, like a highlighter for sure, but it's not as strong, like you could wear it on a daily basis if you wanted to. Um, this is my blush brush, and I'm going to be applying it, not this one. I have a Makeup Revolution blush palette. This is Ultra Blush Palette, and I'm gonna use of this shade and this shade. Um, it's my favorite because it combines the two colors together. Sorry, this is on my screen. Um, and I think it's a really pretty color blend. Color blend, blend of color. Um, but I go right between my contour and my highlight. I like it, it looks good to me. Um, let's see. Um, I have all my stuff. 
stuff on this side. Uh, I think that's it. Um, my hair, I pulled it up for the video, but here's what it is. Down. glasses on so you can see that. Um, this is my glasses. I'm trying to hide the light so you don't see it in my camera. Yeah. Um, basically this is me and my glasses. My makeup's done. Uh, my eyebrows are on. My eyes are on. My face is done. Um, the only thing I don't have on is a lipstick. What do you guys think? You like it? Let me know in the comments, cause I don't, but maybe you do. Cause it's really bright in person and I don't wear bright pink colors. So I don't know, what do you think? Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm sorry if this isn't as upbeat and happy as normal. I'm just not, I guess in a good mood. But um, I will try to better myself for Friday's video. Or not try, I will, I promise you guys, I will. Um, give this video a like and a thumbs up. And please don't hate for being on a bad mood. I definitely wanted to upload and be in a happier mood, but at least you guys could see me do my makeup and hear me beauty bitch on a Tuesday, right? All right, I'll see you guys on Friday, bye.